Hello, my name is Michael Mendenhall, and this is my friend Matthew Hargett, and we're going to teach you how to play ping pong in Ping Pong for Dummies. Alright, so the supplies that you need is a table, two ping pong paddles, two people to play with, and a ball. All right, so one way you could pick who serves first is by arm wrestle. Ready, set, go. <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to scream. How's your tails? Mm, tails. Tails. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Bam. If it hits the net and it goes over the table, it's a redo. If it hits the net and it goes back onto your side without hitting their side, it's their point. All right, so you can either play ping pong in a game of 21, so 21 points, or best two out of three of 11-point games. Now, if you play 11-point games, you switch the server every two serves, so you serve twice, then switch it to the next person. That person serves twice, and back to you. But if it's a game of 21, it's five serves instead of two. After the serve, the real game comes when it comes over back to your side. It can either bounce, or if it's floating over in the air, you can hit it down really quick and make it hit their side. As long as you hit their side, it's free game, but you cannot hit the ball onto your side and make it bounce onto their side. That is only for the serve. So when you play and the ball goes over to your side, it should bounce and then you can hit it back to their side and then make sure it bounces as long as it bounces then it's still fair game if it doesn't hit their side of the table it hits the floor hits the wall hit the ceiling it's all dead balls and so you have to reserve and keep playing that way ping pong tip tie your shoes now if you have a de decent paddle that costs more than three dollars then you can usually put some good spin on it, so you can put some back spin, that's when it, you cut under it, or your front spin. There's a lot of other videos for tips and tricks. So let's play a scenario. You have a 10 points, I have 9 points. So, if you had one more point, you would get to 11, you would win. But, at that point, you cannot win, you cannot serve if you're leading, and you need one more point. So I have to serve, and you cannot win from that serve unless it, I serve it, you hit it back, and I lose. So it's pretty much, if I make a mistake while serving, you don't automatically win. You actually have to do something about it. So let's just say now it's 10-10. It's a tie score, one more point gets to 11, but since it's not really fair who serves, it now goes to deuce advantage. So if I was 9 and you were 10 and I got the point to go up to 10 with, and tie with you, then I would serve one more time. And if you won, then you would get advantage. And then I would serve again. And if you won that point, then you would win. But let's just say, again, it's 10-10. It's deuce. I win that next point after I serve. Then I get advantage and you serve me. If you win, then it goes back down to deuce. You serve. Or if I get the point again, I win, and it can just go back to deuce advantage kind of forever if no one gets two points in a row. Toodaloo.